My name is Kurt from Classic Automotive Training School. Today I'm going to talk to you about the green trigger wire. Bosch made some changes to this trigger wire used in the 911 and 930 Porsche models where they switched the pin locations. Now there's a lot of misinformation out there about the rotation of the ignition distributor and how it is affecting the signal that is required to trigger the CDI box. So today what we want to show you is that it makes no difference what direction the ignition distributor rotates, the signal is the same. Okay, to prove our experiment today we have an impulse distributor that's out of the 911 SC. We have a green wire. We're going to just plug the green wire in and we're going to connect it to our test wire harness. Okay, we're all hooked up. We're going to spin it counterclockwise first. Okay, if we look at the waveform, we have a nice gentle rising positive slope with a fast falling negative trigger slope. Okay, I'm gonna spin it clockwise now. Okay. We can see that we have the same slow rising positive edge and fast falling trigger edge no matter what the direction. This is because the way that Bosch has designed the pickup coil so that no matter which direction the distributor rotates it will always cause the same polarity in the waveform. The only way to change the polarity would be to connect the wires in reverse wiring. For simplicity's sake, I am going to switch my probe connections at the plug. And we will rerun our test and see what readings we get on the scope. So let's reset. Okay, I'm going to do left hand rotation first. see that now our waveform is reversed. We have a fast rising slope followed by a slow falling slope for a trigger slope. Okay, so we just looked at it counterclockwise. If we look at it clockwise, we can see we have the same result. So the way the circuit is wired is what is most important. Okay, so we know that the polarity comes from the impulse generator. The impulse generator is marked A and marked B. Terminal A is always positive. Terminal B is always negative. That is built into the, the design of the impulse generator. Where Bosch made the change was in this plug. For some reason they switched positive from pin 1 location to pin 2 location. If we make a change at this point we are now exposing the signal in this green wire to ambient or transient electrical signals. So if you have a vehicle that still has the early trigger signal wire on it the repair is very simple. These pins are removable. We simply remove these pins and flip the connection. 